Hey guys, Catches here and as you can see in today's video we are not spray painting. In today's video I'll show you how I pack my paintings, my prints, poster boards, etc. Sketch art boxes, we have two boxes, stickers, I'll send him one extra painting, done and ready. How are they shipping shipment? You probably won't have most pleasant unboxing experience. So for the past eight months, I wasn't able to ship and to make paintings as I was regularly doing. A lot of my supporters and customers waited for so long period of time to they get their painting or print or whatever product they order from my web store. Those of you who follow my channel and who follow my work, you know that I moved with my family to a new house. I started with renovation of new studio, of painting studio, of painting space and things like that. And I also needed to make contracts with new shipping companies, but that took literally more than eight months. So I was shipping my paintings, but I didn't have consistency in that. So I'm so, so, so thankful to all of you who support my work and to all of you who are waited for so long to get your paintings. So in today's video, I will show you how I prepare your paintings for shipping and how I pack them for shipping. So basically, I have three products on my web store that I pack differently. I have poster boards. These are high quality glow in the dark prints and they look amazing. They glow in the dark amazing and they are pretty much flexible and I can roll it. And basically, I pack these paintings, actually poster boards into this rolls. The second product I have, these are small paintings. These are pretty awesome, pretty amazing. They glow in the dark so good, but they are not so flexible and they have like thick layer of paint. And when you try to roll this picture, paint is pretty much thick and sometimes it can crack, make some small cracks. It's some, sometimes it's not that visible, it's not big deal, but I love to ship them like perfect. So that's why I love to ship them flat on piece of wood. And the third product is glow in the dark paintings and they look amazing, they are my favorite. I love to pack big paintings, but they are more complicated for packing because it's a huge size and you also have problem with shipping. Not every shipping company want to accept sizes like this and same as small paintings when you roll them up sometimes paint can crack and I don't like that I love my product to be shipped flat as possible so that's why I'm using as you can see big size of wood some kind of I don't know how how you call this so let's start with packing first we need to cut this on the two pieces because it's so it can fit in the box and yeah, I'm gonna assemble box first. And it's pretty simple. I have some customized sketch art boxes. It says pack with love and stay awesome. Ciao, Mili. Ciao, Mili. As you can see, I have assistant here. We have two boxes. Now we're gonna cut our roll. Marking here, so So we packed our first print and I was made long talking about how I packed this one. So we just forgot to turn on the microphone. But no, big deal, it's not a problem. We have another order and in this order we have three paintings, actually three prints to pack. For this customer I need to ship three glow-in-the-dark prints. This customer is Philip from United Kingdom and he waits for this prints for 
more than nine months. And the reason why is that because this print, Glow in the Dark print of Howling Wolf was sold out. And by some mistake, he ordered a bundle where was included this painting. So I sent an email to Philip and asked him, hey Philip, do you want me to refund your money or you want to wait? And he said, it's not a problem, I will wait till this print is ready or back on the stock again. So nine months later, it's on stock again. And since Philip waited so long, I sent him one extra painting, glow-in-the-dark painting of Peter Pan. I know that British people love Peter Pan painting because London is included. Now, we packing four paintings at once. And I always sign thanks letter and ask people to send me their photos because I have... I really love to collect photos of the customer that send me their pictures with my paintings. And also sheet of stickers. We're gonna seal it with hot glue here so we can be sure that we don't that paintings don't receive any kind of moisture or I don't know how they're gonna ship it. Second one is ready and these customers can receive, can expect actually to these paintings to receive maybe next or week after. So that's how I ship my poster boards. Now a little bit tricky thing is when I ship original paintings, I don't mean original paint, I don't mean original paintings but handmade paintings. They're different for shipping. So this is for one really, really special customer that waits so, so, so long for his paintings. And I won't tell how long because I am ashamed. I really feel bad how long this customer waits for his painting. But anyway, he will get it. If he doesn't move to another place. So I also want to make sure that this painting does not move during shipping. So I made with not that sticky tape on corners and I will put my painting just like this. And for extra secure, I'm gonna put these corners. I do this for every painting. So you can see it's time consuming process. So for each of the corner, I'm just gonna glue it so we can secure that this painting won't move at all. Now I use baking paper to protect paintings from sticking onto cardboard or I don't know. I just want to make sure that everything is nice and perfect here. Now I have this huge, not huge, but big envelope for this 
speed syrup. And for extra protection, I just tape it on the sides so we can secure that this painting for any any reason don't fall out. Our first small envelope is done and ready. So basically for every order I include my stickers, sheets of stickers. There's like one, two, three, four, five stickers on this sheet and yeah, have fun guys. And of course, we're gonna sign. We want to make sure that our painting is not moving during shipping. And these large formats are different. It's complicated because they are larger, larger and there are bigger chances to get moved you have no idea how the shipping companies shipping packages that is just like crazy how they're shipping shipment this tape is not super sticky it's sticky enough to hold the painting and to ensure that painting is does does not move but it's also not sticky enough to damage your painting when you remove it that's the awesome thing We are safe here. Now, it comes a tricky thing. I don't have that big envelope for this big format. So I have like extra thick piece of cardboard to protect this. And before I put this cardboard on, I will protect painting with layer of baking paper, same as we did on the small one, because we need two pieces of paper. It does not need to cover everything. And I'm gonna put small amount of glue on each side of the corner here, trying, I'm trying to not put too much so we don't damage the painting actually. And past, we're gonna put our sheet of cardboard on it. You probably won't have most pleasant unboxing experience for sure, but for me it's more important that this painting arrive to you safely, then you have unboxing experience. Yes, all four corners. All four edges, yes. We're gonna protect it with stretching foil, or what's it called? Stretching foil, yes. I should buy the robot for packing, you know, the thing that you have on the airport, like spider that 
<laughs> protect your packages. So good luck with unboxing this thing. And of course, I'm out of tape. Now our big packaging is done and ready for shipping. And now we just need to hope that they don't want puncture through this painting with something. I don't know, chances are not that big, but they are chances. So yeah guys, that is basically all you need to know about how I ship your paintings. And I wanted to make this video a long, long time ago so you can better understand how your paintings are shipped and how many time it consumes actually just to prepare your painting for shipping. And to those of you who follow my channel because you are a spray paint artist and you want to ship your paintings by yourself, now you can better understand what I prefer for my shipments. And that also might work and help you to ship your paintings. Once again, I wanted to apologize to all of you who waited so, so long to your painting get shipped. Stay awesome, I love you all, and let me know down below in the comments what kind of video would you like to see more on this channel. See you next spray paint video.